Okay, so how are you dealing with this fame, newfound fame? Because you are a type of like a YouTube uh -huh. reality star famous and people kind of knew you then, um, but they didn't get their hands on you. They, you didn't have to go out and see people. No, I did. You did when you was on the um like when I when I had got heavy in YouTube, anytime I would go to the mall or anything like that, like there'll be a lot of people asking for pictures too because a lot of people watch YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but now it's way more. So <laughs> way more. Yeah, it's way more. So it's like I kinda was prepped for this already. Oh okay. um, so it's not really I, you know, it's just not to me, it's hard, but it's like I go day by day and it just I live with it. What do you do to help you deal with the pressures of being who you are right now? How do, what, how do you release? What do you release? Yeah. Um, honestly, so honestly, since I've been on tour, I haven't been in and out the studio because I I'm on tour. Um, but usually it's like music or going to the studio. If not, like having a like just a day off like a spa day maybe go to sleep or something like that like <laughs> go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> um sleep is like yeah your I favorite like, thing right now and I, yeah and eating and stuff so. uh -huh. do you have any like crazy weird food cravings since you've been pregnant no um i, I won't call them crazy like at towards the end like i just like to drink lemonade eat mm -hmm. chocolate cake and eat shrimp <laughs> that's, a weird, yeah. that's a weird combo. I mean, well, it's it's kind of like I don't eat it all together at once, but like okay, right. I'd be wanting it's those like main three, three those things. Those three things are your yeah. fried shrimp, sc shrimp scampi, or boiled uh, shrimp. Like like shrimp scampi, like saute, okay. garlic, butter. lemon butter shrimp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, oh, lately I've been having this weird craving for salmon patties. Oh, wow. Salmon patties. Yes. Do you know, LeBron James says he eats salmon before the game. That's like his go-to food mm -hmm. to like get his whatever. It's you love, like, Vita loves salmon. She eats it all the time. Uh, yeah, I, I eat it all the time. Yeah, well, uh, congratulations on the success of both of your, yes. your singles. I mean, Queen and Karma, back to back. Did you have any idea? Were you, were you prepared for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what, like I said, when I... When I released Medicine, I was just like a strictly a YouTuber. And so that was only to confirm to my supporters, you know, every, everything that was going on. So Medicine was real, real. Yes, definitely. Right. Yeah. Except for Brian and Ryan. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. That's <laughs> all. Um, Go Jess. So, like, do you, do you, do you ever have i mean of course you don't regret anything because like everything happens for a reason and you know you grow and you mm -hmm. you learn from things that happen but do you ever feel like man like if i could go back and have this one moment different nah. like would you change anything nope. no i feel like everything happens the way it's supposed to even if even if it's not ideal like even if it's not what i wanted to happen i feel like everything was hap hap everything happened the way it was supposed to um because one thing leads to another. Yeah. So. But how do you stay, I guess, like, focused and not let... Because, I mean, after the whole... I've been keeping up with you for a minute. So, mm -hmm. like, I know, like, the whole everything, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, how do you how do you not let the outside work? Because the internet is a tough place. Vicious. You know? The, yeah. the internet is tough. The internet always winning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, how did, how did you just say, you know, like, it don't matter, like, it is what it is, and I'm going to keep pushing forward, because that's not the easiest thing to do. No, it's not easy at all, because I'm still human, so things still bother me, too, but um, when I look at where I was and where I am now and how I'm moving, um, God yeah, is man. blessing me. No, yeah. God is blessing me, so truthfully, like, I mean, it comes with it. I, I expect it. So, I just deal with it. Yeah. How how is it? How, are you? How is the co-parenting situation with you and Chris? Um, are y'all speaking? We only speak about CJ. Mm -hmm. um, I am trying to. Well, CJ is getting close to school age. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with that. Whether I want to put him in private school or just like homeschool him. Or, I I don't know. I really want him to be social though. So I still want him to go to school. Um, that's a, you know, Chris actually live out in, in Texas, so. Oh, really? And I live in Atlanta, so, like, to be in different states is, like, it's 
easy for you. No. No? It's hard for me. It's hard because, like, I can't just, I can't just drive around the corner or drive an hour away to go get my son. Like, yeah. we got to hop on flights. Mm. So it's like it's irritating, you know. Um, right. At 35 weeks, I have to stop flying. So then after that, like usually, like since I've been on tour and things like that, and si- well before then, since I've been just so busy, and the way my life is going, um, we don't get him like every. You know how like most couples would be like, oh well, every weekend you get him every weekend, or we get him every two weeks. Right. Like, like it's kind of like now it. It's kind of like. Well, he'll have him like for three weeks to a month, or I'll have him three weeks to a month. But that's too long for me. That is. Um, it's too long because it's like he go, CJ goes to one household, or you know, and it's like he got a different set of rules. And then mm-hmm. when he come back, I gotta like re retrain him, redo everything all over again. Like, that's like <laughs> me sitting my son at his grandma house. Yeah. He comes back a totally different yeah. child. Yeah, yeah. Like mouth. I him on a, yeah, I would get him on a routine and everything. Um, not to say that like he's handling him wrong, but we just handle him in a different way, I guess. Now I'm trying to get CJ on a routine where like. Um, he could be a big boy now, like, cause he about to have a little brother and like, you know, just get Is him. Is he ready? Do you think he's kind of getting ready to be a big brother? Is um, he excited I about mean, it? He or? is excited. He is. He told me, um, mommy, I can't wait to see my little brother and this and that. But like, um, CJ, since he was the only child for it for a little bit, like my baby spoiled mm-hmm. and I actually spoil him. So I'm trying to get, trying to get him out of that, but it's just hard when he go back and everybody give him what he want. And then he come back to me and I try to, like, give him structure. Right, right. So it's, like, definitely it's not it's not easy. Um, and then in the, 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 the field that you're in, it makes it even harder as well. Yeah. I don't get to just be normal. I can't just be home and just. But if he was just home, you'd be like, I'm ready to get the up out of here. No. no. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm a homebody. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I mean, okay, so, like, I'm I'm outgoing and things like that, but not as far as, like, I'm, I'm not a partier. Like, I don't like to go to the club and drink and do all that stuff. Like, if anything, I go to the beach or, like, Detroit. Huh? Detroit? Nah. Now, you, because you are Detroit. from Detroit, right? Well, I'm from Mich- Detroit, Michigan. That's where I moved from before I moved to Houston. Oh, okay. And started going everywhere. Um, but I was born in Ypsilanti, Michigan. <laughs> okay. Nobody knows about Ypsilanti, Michigan. That's why I say Detroit. Detroit. Oh, okay. Oh, so everybody yeah. knows right. about Detroit. Say that. They're like, yo, where that at? <laughs> yeah, where I got a that? friend from Flint, but Michigan. Detroit, I, I lived in Detroit for a minute before I even moved out that state. So. Mm-hmm. Detroit. Yeah. Um. No, I don't go to Detroit Beach. <laughs> <laughs> right. No one goes there with dead I, bodies. I haven't, I haven't been there. Um. <laughs> I have been there. <laughs> yeah. I ain't been there in a minute. So. What happened with uh YouTube the other day? I know y'all put the video up of y'all releasing a baby's name, and then I saw you go on Twitter and you was like YouTube tripping. So I was like, oh man. Oh, what's copyright. Going on? Copyright. You can't. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. The it's, YouTube got certain rules. Sometimes they be switching up on. So. Is it cool working with YouTube? Have you ever had any like issues as far as you like your uploads and like getting your money? And I mean, yeah, that's I mean that's everybody that's every YouTuber. But yeah. I mean, um, YouTube has treated me great over time. I mean, that's I ain't have to I, work no nine to five no more. So. I ain't yeah. never talked to nobody that made a living off of YouTube. You yeah. you could sustain your entire family off Definitely. of YouTube. Definitely. That's Six when figures we, or more off of yes. YouTube. When we started doing YouTube. Um, it was crazy. Like, I ain't, I ain't have to work no nine to five ever again, and like, it's really what you take and do with those with those checks and with that money. Whether you save it up or invest it, some people can get get their eyes get big and they just blow it on stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's really what you like. I mean, what whether you save it up or not, or whether you invest it into something. You're a bit of an open book, because like you said, your YouTube was real, it was you. Your songs are real, it mm-hmm. is you. Has anybody approached you about a reality show? Yes. Uh, are you thinking about it? <laughs> no. You, but you're out in the open, and you think that'd just be more work? Why would you turn that down? Um. Well, that, well I, okay, well, shoot. It's certain reality shows I just wouldn't do, because I don't, I feel like my images and my brain is more important than anything. So um, also, Moda Scott must have came to you. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> must have been Moda. I'm not gonna. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna um, act all out. You know, if it ain't me. 
if anything, like, uh, I would like to do, like, kind of like my own thing where, <laughs> my own thing where people could just see behind the scenes of everything. Like, because, I mean, YouTube videos are like, we, we really, I, I ain't really did no YouTube videos on my channel lately mm -hmm. because I've been so busy. But if I had, like, just a camera crew walking around to get, like, these crazy moments and things mm -hmm. like that, the stuff that people don't see, you know. Right. And, like, like trying to be a mom. Like a video vlog. Huh? Like a video vlog. It's kind of yeah. like a, a not a not yeah, a set up reality yeah. show. It's just footage of your reality of your life. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, I was doing that when I wasn't doing music, but of course I had time to do that because that was all that was you know I had enough right. time on my hands. Right. Mm -hmm. Now it's you know the fast pace. Yeah, because I edit my own videos too. So it's girl, like, stop. Yeah. Okay. So hmm. I record myself like this. I ain't got <laughs> nobody like you know right. with the camera, and then I edit my own videos and. Do it all. All that. Yeah. I just got to commend you for being gracious. Like, you. I can tell you're, you know, not all hype and about the neck rolling and the finger popping or whatever. And so, of course, you know, I want to discuss Lil Mo mm -hmm. and what she said about your Soul Train Award, uh, Soul Cipher. Mm -hmm. And her, you know, and she started out trying to be nice. Oh, she cute. Mm -hmm. My daughter's lover. But she didn't sing from the pit. Yeah. And she kind of, she threw some shade at you, but your response was so gracious yeah. and what every little girl needs to read. Like if, when someone, girl, you got Michelle Obama on that helper. Yeah. When someone goes low, you go high, you remain high. And that's what you did. Yeah. And I want to salute you for doing that. Thank you. Because it could have went a whole nother way. Mm -hmm. Like we have a segment on here called Clapback, right? Mm -hmm. Where, you know, somebody, say somebody sends me a tweet and it, it's throwing me shade. I would respond like you responded and mm -hmm. say, thank you. Uh, I'm taking what you said into consideration. I appreciate your opinion. But mm -hmm. then Jazzy Black will come back mm -hmm. and say what I really wanted to say. Oh, Fuck okay. you, you got me fucked up telling me how to do me. I run this shit. Yeah, so it's yeah, like No, crazy. go do the whole one. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you oh, okay. ain't even on motherfucking soul train, <laughs> so why the fuck the you over there talking me. about my motherfucking soul train? Yeah, yeah, you need to worry about that man cheating on your ass with his boss looking ass. Bitch, I got this. I'm the new wave of this motherfucking generation. Don't try to come for me, you old washed up asshole. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> See? So, see, that's called the clap back. <laughs> and we just clap back for you. <laughs> so, you guys, that okay? <laughs> but but no, I'm I'm so glad you did it the way you did do it yeah. because you know a lot of little girls look up to you yeah. and they saw that and it just makes me feel like all well, women. I didn't do it just because I got people looking up to me. I did it because it's honestly That's who just you are. me. Yeah, you know? like I never been a confrontational person and um, truthfully, I just like I mean everybody they entitled to their own opinion and I've been dealing with social media long enough to where like. I didn't got negative comments, like crazy negative comments. It's like, the internet. When it's com even when it comes to like my son and my mother and skills and this and that. Mm -hmm. Um, this is honestly like maybe one of the first times I've gotten any kind of um negative negativity from some from a celebrity, um, and about my singing. Um and I was just like, Oh, this is different, but I mean did you look Whatever. up to Little Mo? Because I mean, she's a good singer. Did you? Were, did you? Through, listen, you, listen, listen. I used to be little with my mom, like uh, walking through the house, like cleaning up, singing her songs, make it official. Like, mm -hmm. um, what's that other song? Like, um, her and ja Rule, like mm -hmm. put it on me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I still be listening to that. Like now, right? Um, and I just was like, dang. Like, well, I mean, sometimes people can ruin. They image, they own image. Yeah, like they do of, stuff like that. Like of your your view of them. And that's what you said when you, yeah, when you yeah. answered her in your tweet. Yeah. You said, you know, it, it, it's, you can ruin, you know, like you just yeah. said, the vision that someone has of you. Yeah, and bottom line, you never know what somebody going through behind closed doors and what somebody went through to, to even get through that. Because that day I was very... Um, just really, really nervous and just oh, really out of my comfort zone. And I wanted to leave. I wanted to cry. I just felt like a like because Why? because okay, so I'm so used to, because it was my first thing I'm doing without like my like my supporters there, my fan base and this and that like and I was I felt like almost as if I was like uh 
uh, preschool they're coming into like K through twelve. It was kind of like it was like you're a turtle. Yeah, somebody came like, and cracked open your turtle shell. It's like yeah, I'm here. And it's like, and it's like I'm like shy. I'm not even really truthfully, y'all. I'm just tired right now. I'm not even a shy person. I'm like really, I. Yeah, I'm I'm like real goofy and stuff mm -hmm. like that and and crazy. But um, that day I was just so shy and just like. Were you taken back by just the bigness of the awards? Like, was that it, your first, first award all, show? First of all, I, my, well, my team always say, they say that I don't realize who I am yet. Um, Heard that before, that yeah. that happens. And maybe that's true. Maybe like, I mean, I'm just going day by day and like life just go by so fast where I'm just doing this show and doing this interview and doing this. But I don't really sit back and be like, dang, like. Wow. Oh, you're me. there. Yeah. Like, you're so, there. and I guess that just always, I, I just always keep humble. Like, that always keeps me humble. Like, it's that. cool to stay in a safe, it's like a safe space for you. But I think, I'm, but like, I think I'm a, well, I'm not going to say I'm never going to recognize like who I fully am, but no. I think I'm going to always just be humble just because I feel like that's, it's that's better. how God made me. Mm -hmm. And I can't help it. Like, but I'm going to tell you what, though. What your ass going to do when you get to the Grammys? I mean, I'm going to thank God. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, for real. Yeah. Like, I might have a little sass or whatever. Like, uh -huh. like get dressed up. But mm -hmm. truthfully, all of this is, like, God. You're absolutely right. So I can't. When you were little, did you ever, did you tell yourself, that, like, I'm a, I am I want to be a singer when you yeah. grow up? Okay. So yeah, this is something when, that you no, did kind of, like, manifest Listen, I always wanted to do this, but it's like, when I got to a certain age, and and I was like 18, and I had a kid, and, and I was working a nine to five, and I was on Section Eight in food stamps, and I just was like, maybe it's too late. Maybe mm -hmm. you know when I was like around that age, and then I, I was in a, a marriage, and I was like, wait a minute, uh, you was, was you married to Chris? Yeah, I was oh, okay. married for three years. At 18. Yeah, we got was we a got baby. Yeah, well I met him when I was 17. We got married when I was 19. And then, a baby. yeah, I mean, so I I was like more of a like a, a working mom, mm -hmm. and I was like, I ain't really I ain't really take my voice serious anymore. Aww. Um, after that, I guess I guess because I just had settled. Since you've been um, eighteen, have you ever been by yourself? Because I know you um, you're in a new relationship, and that kind well, of well, I guess like the little time little time that truthfully let me tell you something i was by myself before i was even divorced okay speak I on was it by myself yeah um, let the people in the back here yeah <laughs> uh, i feel like like i said women leave we leave mentally before we leave physically mm -hmm. i was by myself for a minute even in, in my marriage. relationship yeah you know and just, just recently we all know chris mm -hmm. was arrested out in houston for allegedly beating up his new girl y'all yeah, speak on that Okay. I don't speak on it. It didn't happen, didn't happen to you or we would have heard about it. I don't speak on it at all. Yeah. Okay. Because that's your son's father. Yeah, it is. It's, it's my son's father. And, and bottom line, like, if I'm never there to, like, just, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it didn't happen or it did. It's just, I just, I just try to stay over in my lane with my right. music. Because you have to keep your and his relationship to to yeah. where you at and At the him. end of the day, yeah, I still, like, you know, talk to him about CJ. All I know is that he's a good dad and he's involved in CJ's life. So anything else is his business, truthfully. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not mine's anymore. Have you ever heard this? Okay, so you know how I remember Mary J. Blige, right? When she'd be going through stuff and her songs be like, oh, yes, Mary, yes, <laughs> Mary, yes. And then when Mary got happy, people was like, oh, damn, Mary, this shit don't even sound right. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody got time to hear you just sing about happiness. Yeah. We want to hear, hear the pain. Yeah. So do you think that your music is going to change because you're, you're, no. you're in a happy space? No, because I, can, I got the ability to write about experiences even from way back then. Um, and pain don't only come from relationships. Pain can come from people trying to use you, from not knowing who your real friends are and mm -hmm. like you want to be your friend for what you got or you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Pain can just come from you just having some, some insecurities. Pain can come from like way more things than just relationships. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Um, 
chow issues, like huge penis. Don't nobody want that. Well, I say maybe that's a good pain. I don't know, but um, yeah, pain can come from anything else. So. So, so real quick, going on, we got two sm smashing singles. When can we expect an EP on an album? Yeah. Um. Well, my EP is already out. Okay. Um, album. The album. So when I pop this baby What's out. What's the name of the EP? Um, Queen Naja is so tight. Oh, okay. I'm just you know, starting off with my name. Um, when I drop this baby out. <laughs> when you drop that love. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to be like stationed um, home in Atlanta okay. for a minute. And that's when I'll be able to really just sit and go back and forth to the studio and record and write and all this stuff. And I'm working towards that. And I do want that to I do want that to be out to 2019. So yeah. I can tell um, you're a real writer. You know what I'm saying? Just by your lyrics and it doesn't and it sounds like it's coming it from you yeah. and a woman can sing it in the car and and feel the same way that you yeah. feel. So you've got something like you you've definitely got something in you uh baby girl and I'm just proud that you know how to deliver it in the yeah. way that you do. Thank you. I don't see I don't know how. Like it, that's what I'm saying like this is it's crazy cuz I'm like how did I write that? And then sometimes I'll sit and be like let me try to write something with some big words or something different and like some metaphors. And, but honestly, maybe people just like how straightforward I am. And like, mm -hmm. I, you know how you ever listen to a song, you like it, but like you trying to figure out what they mean. You got to go on Google like, okay, yeah. so what does she mean by yeah. this? Yeah. Like, I just put it straight to you. I break it down where you could just understand exactly it's easier. what I'm do, saying. Do you plan on maybe having any like, Features, collaborations on your album, or any people like on your radar, or uh, producers even? Definitely. Um, well, should I say anything? Like yes, you should say. <laughs> I don't know. Say, like, I, I, don't say. I, I don't know. Nobody said no. I know. I got, uh, I got some collabs I'm, I'm working with. Rap, R&B. Rap, um, rap and women, R&B. Women. Women and men. A woman. Women and men. Women and men. Yeah. You got to get first names? Uh, I, Timmy. Cool. Who? Timmy, Timmy, oh, Timmy, Rivera. I really, that's why. Okay. Yes. That's Walker Parker's wife. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um, that's another one. Well, it's a boogie. With the okay. A boogie with a hoodie. All right. Yeah. yeah. You ever think about maybe you and Cardi linking up? I love Cardi so much. You Actually, look I like just, Cardi. I just, I'm just saying, you I, remind I, me of Cardi. I'm looking at her the whole time. I'm yeah. looking at you. I'm see. I'm like, damn, she looks yeah. like. Cardi. I just talked with Jay yesterday. Um, oh, he's friend to the show. Jubilee. You know, Jay White's from uh, from Texas, yeah, from yeah, right yeah. here. So I just talked with him, and we talking about working on some things, and who knows, I mean, it could lead to whatever. But Cardi, she seemed real, real cool. Yeah. She, um... That'd be a look. Huh? So that'll be a look. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Um, Kehlani. Yeah. Yes. Come on, get this mm -hmm. queen out to Kehlani. Collab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you got a lot in store. Yeah. You got a lot, and you got a long way to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Well, and hey, we appreciate you coming through. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, nice to finally sit down and talk to you and and see where all that realness was coming from. Yeah. And you definitely got to keep it real and stay humble, baby girl. I will. Yeah, stay humble. But before we go, what's the best thing about this 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 journey you're on? The best thing, man. It's a lot of good. Um, honestly, just touching people just touching people like um i feel like some people like they sing and they make hits and everything like that but if you don't really touch anyone like what are you doing mm -hmm. yeah yeah what you doing so touching people and what's the worst thing about this journey you're on the worst thing mm -hmm. um, people touching you <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that i'm just saying like you know i love walmart and target and it's like I don't get to be normal anymore. I don't get to just walk walk in the store no more and just like go grab some stuff if I need it. I have to have a security with me everywhere. Yeah, everywhere I go because like it's always somebody with a camera like recording me. If like if on my off day and I'm just yeah, I'm you get creeped mess. out by it by the cameras. No, I don't get creeped out. It just be like and the lights in your face. Be just normal for a minute, or yeah. but I can see you walking into Walmart with these two over. I no, mean, like, ain't I nobody care. gonna come no, up I, to you. <laughs> nobody. Yeah, I, I, and the thing is, I walk in Walmart with a robe and some slippers and like don't care. So did Cardi. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I just be everywhere like that, and so or like the thing is, when I'm trying to eat, 
when I'm just trying to eat, man. In peace. And in peace, I just want to eat my food. And people walk up and like, I know you doing this. I know. But can I get a picture? Or when I be in the airport and I'm like, just I'm just sick and I'm tired and I got crust coming out my eye, and they still just want to come and like put the phone selfie you yeah yeah so i mean but i mean i don't really take it wrong because like i said it's they probably feel like you know i really um have touched your them friend, in some way your friend your yeah, friend yeah yeah so it's like you know but i they people just gotta know the line yeah yeah so. Well, I'm you glad should you came make a, the show, a YouTube honey. video on it. I mean, you've already like exposed everything. Just yeah. kind of have like, look, I need to have a one on one with y'all real quick. <laughs> but see, people like me ain't gonna see it. I'm gonna walk up to it like, can I touch it? <laughs> and you eating? Can I eat with you? Let me try that spaghetti, girl. Is it good? What should I order? Girl, come on, I'm here to take this picture. I'm that person. No, but I mean, I love people like that too. A free spirit. It's uh -huh. just, like I told you, I'm just tired right now, so I probably will be yelling with you if it was later on. Yeah, and you just performed and everything, yeah. so yeah. I got to perform today, too, so. Well, thank you for coming by, Queen yeah. Ashley. Thank you so much. We're looking for more and more from you. You're, you're going to be around a long time.